The 1941 proof Lincoln cent is considered valuable and relatively rare. Proof coins are special, carefully struck coins using polished dies and planchettes, resulting in a sharp, mirror-like finish. These coins are produced primarily for collectors and are not intended for general circulation. In 1941, the United States Mint struck proof Lincoln cents for collectors, and these coins are highly sought after by numismatists. This example was graded as PF67 red by NGC, and it was sold for $3,240 recently on eBay. This is 1956 Roosevelt Dam in Mint State 68 condition with full bands designation. The full bands designation is used by grading services to indicate that the bands on the torch are fully struck and well defined. The obverse has an extraordinary display of blue, green, violet, and gold toning. The reverse is essentially all brilliant with only faint powder blue toning at the border. This vividly toned dime ended up selling for $5,520. A 1920 cent graded as MS67 indicates that the coin is in exceptional condition with minimal to no wear or damage. Such a high grade is relatively scarce as most circulated coins from that era exhibit signs of wear resulting from being in circulation for an extended period. The rarity and the value of 1920 cent graded as MS67 can vary based on factors such as mint mark, variety, and overall market demand. Additionally, the historical significance and popularity of the coin can influence its desirability among collectors. This specimen is boldly struck with all the qualities of superb mint state Lincoln, including fiery golden orange color and glistening mint luster. It was sold for $6,300. Here is 1977D Canada Elf Dollar in Mint State 62, an error coin struck on a 40% silver planchette. The 40% silver alloy, a holdover from the 1965 debasement, was supposed to have been struck for the final time on the 1967, on the 1976 S Bicentennial Half Dollar and Ike Dollar. But it happened so that a very small quantity of misplaced or leftover 40% silver planchettes ended up between dies for the next year's coinage, lustrous, lightly toned, sharply struck, and well preserved. It ended up selling for $5,875. Another error coin, 1965 Lincoln cents struck on a silver dime planchette, highly soft after transitional error, graded as AU58 by NGC. The 1965 Lincoln cent struck on a silver or 10 cent blank is highly unusual and valuable error coin. However, these error coins have been known to sell for several thousand dollars at auction or through private sales, especially when they are in exceptional condition and exhibit clear, well struck design elements on the planchette. It was bargained for $6,600. Moving on with this 1941 Jefferson Nickel in PR68 condition, closing examination with a loop confirms the nearly perfect status of this coin as indicated by the grade. But the desirability of this piece is not limited to mere preservation of the surfaces. The untampered originality of the surfaces are demonstrated by streaks of rose, ice blue, and green iridescent toning seen over each side. Only 18,720 proofs were struck in 1941, but surprisingly, few were set aside by contemporary collectors. Undoubtedly, this proof will be avidly sought after by registry set collectors. It fetched the sum of $6,600 at auction. Here is 2000 P Saka Javia dollar in Mint State 67, highly elusive Cheerios dollar with boldly detailed tail feathers. A spectacular super gem example of one of the most fascinating and rare modern US mint varieties. This highly lustrous and satiny piece has surfaces that are free of grade limiting blemishes. Early in 2000, General Mills makers of Cheerios breakfast cereal, coupled with US mint to place New Sacagawea dollars in box of their cereal and heightens the nation's awareness of the coin. 
Some 10 million boxes of the Cheerios were part of the promotion, each containing a newly minted Lincoln scent. Another 5,500 boxes also contained the 2,000 dated Sacagawea dollars. The Cheerios dollar had a different reverse style than the regular circulation strikes with eagle's tail feathers on the reverse enhanced in their detail, exceptionally well preserved. The superb gem offered here the superb gem shown here is a must-have for any serious collector of modern varieties. It ended up selling for $6,600. Moving on with this 1939 Jefferson Nickel with reverse of 1938, graded as PR68 by PCGS and proven by CEC. A proof variant that shows the wavy steps on Monticello as seen in 1938. This is a truly superb representative that has a colorful rainbow-like toning scheme at the peripheries on each side, beautifully original. There are no mentionable marks or spots. It fetched the sum of $7,200 at auction. This is 1971 Eisenhower dollar in MS66 plus condition. Ice blue and rose blankets the surfaces of this attractive gem. This is the first year of issue and popular rebirths of the dollar-sized coin. A total of 47,799,000 pieces were struck that year. This superb gem was sold for $10,281.25 at auction. Here is 1944 Washington quarter struck on a steel sand planchette, rare wrong planchette error. It weighs 2.68 grams. Highlight of extensive mint error offering in the John Whitney Walter collection, this piece exhibits a full date and clear mint mark area. The strike is flush to the lower obverse and upper reverse borders, all design elements that are present exhibiting sharp definition. The obverse is bright and satiny, the reverse is a bit darker with light granularity and scattered oxidation. These are rare and they enjoy further appeal among specialists due to their association by date and planchet stock with 1944 steel scents and their more famous 1943 bronze scent counterparts. It ended up selling for $16,200. Next, 1968 No S dime, also known as 1968 Roosevelt dime without a mint mark. It is considered a rare and valuable error coin. The No S designation refers to the absence of the mint mark S, which should be present on dime struck at the San Francisco mint. The 1968 No S dime is highly sought after by collectors due to its scarcity and the intriguing nature of the error. The coin was not intended for circulation and is believed to be a result of a mint worker's oversight, making it a significant and desirable variety. Remember that the value of 1968 NOS time can fluctuate based on the market conditions and buyer interest. Working with professionals in the numismatic field can assist you in navigating the selling process and achieving the best possible outcome. These ultra cameo specimen in PR68 condition ended up selling for $25,200. Here is 1922 No D Lincoln scent with strong reverse. Great enemy stay 63 brown by PCGS. A satiny, deep golden brown specimen with lively underlying luster and trace here and there of mint orange iridescence among the devices. Choice for the grade with surfaces that hold up amazingly well to magnified examination. Obverse devices soft at in god we. The balance of design relatively strong in this die state, though certainly nowhere as sharp as reverse. Sold for $32,200. Moving on with his 1947 Washington Quarter in MS68 condition, halos of lovely pinkish apricot and champagne gold iridescence ring the peripheries and frame essentially brilliant centers. This is beautiful coin and also an exceptionally well-preserved one and it ended up selling for $32,400 in 2021.
Here is 1918 Lincoln sent in MS68 red condition. This virtually flawless example really needs to be seen to be fully appreciated. Silky smooth surfaces exhibit vivid mint color of beautiful pinkish red. The striking detail is razor sharp to full throughout the design, and the eye appeal is extraordinary. While there is no denying that the 1918 is one of more plentiful early date Lincoln scents. High quality mint state examples are scarcer than those of 1916 and 1919. Near the pinnacle of numismatic preservation and quality, this full red ultra gem is one of utmost condition rarities. It was sold for $55,200 at auction. And the most valuable coin of this episode, ladies and gentlemen, 1925 D. Lincoln sent in MS66 red condition, CAC proven enchanting gem. In MS66 red condition, the 1925 D. Lincoln sent becomes scarcer as coins of this grade are known for their excellent preservation and eye appeal. The combination of being in an uncirculated state, having a high grade, and displaying vibrant red color can significantly enhance its desirability. And value among collectors, it ended up selling for $92,812.50 with buyer's fee in January 2023. Thanks for watching this video, hope you enjoyed this episode and have found it helpful. Please hit subscribe and like buttons before you watch another video. Have a nice day.